Okay, so they'll be out any second now. Let's just see who comes out first. Just again, keep your eyes peeled on those chickens. Okay, so we've got our six-year-old female Taza out first, followed by her twin sister Chevelle. Straight up and back down again. Incredibly quick and powerful these cats. Now they do make it look quite easy, just racing up those poles in a matter of seconds, but they are actually working incredibly hard. All those muscles tensing underneath that skin to grip onto that pole. Here comes Shakar, it's our 13-year-old male. And back down again. Okay, there's still a couple of chickens left up there, so do keep your eyes open. She'll be back in that second very shortly. Now, as I said, there are African lions we have here at the park. We've got quite a small pride with just three members, two females and a male. But out in the wild, lion prides can actually vary quite a lot in size. You can get all the way up to 30 cats into one group out in Africa. Now, obviously, within the pride, the males and the females have different roles that they have to play. The females, obviously, being the breeders, they are rearing up lion cubs. But also, a very important job they do is they go out and bring home the dinner. It is the lionesses that are the hunters. Now, they're extremely camouflaged in that African savanna grassland. They're brilliant ambush predators, and they'll work as a team, and they will ambush large animals. Things like antelope, zebra, and trophies. And they'll work as a team bring that animal down and take it back and they'll share it amongst the rest of the lions in their fight. And when they are old enough, they also take the cubs out as well. And they'll teach those guys how to hunt for when they're old enough. So that's our females, but what about Shakar, our male? Now he's got a couple of different jobs he has to do. Obviously he is the alpha male of the crowd, he's the leader of the group. So a very important role he has to play is protector. He's got to watch over all of his lines and he's got to protect his lines. So there are rival males out there, they're going to want to come along and steal his territory and take his females. Again, so there she goes up to the second one. Three. And back down again. So there are males out there that are going to want to come and steal his females away from him. So he's got to do a number of things to assert his dominance as the leader of that territory. And one of the things he does to do that is he patrols around the perimeter of his territory and he's just watching out for those males. Now as he walks around, he scent marks. Now scent marking is extremely important because it serves as a warning to these other males. They can smell that and they know that there's already a large male in this territory and they won't come any closer. Now the scent marking is also important for the other members of the pride because they know exactly where their boundary is. So if they stray too far, they know where home is again. Now obviously in this environment, Shakar's territory is this enclosure, so he does walk around the perimeter and scent mark as he goes. Now you guys, my left hand side there, just in that corner underneath that Africa side, that's actually his favourite spot for scent marking. So if he does come over to that corner guys and lift his tail up, Please take a big step back out of the way. I don't want any of you guys going home smelling of lying today. But yeah, that that scent marking is extremely important. Now something else that's important for Shakar to do to assert his dominance is he roars. Now a male African lion's roar is extremely loud. It's very powerful. You can hear it up to seven miles away on a clear, quiet night. And again, that just serves as a warning to those other males out there. They know exactly who he is, where he is, and not to come any closer. Now Shikar actually has something else in his bag of tricks that helps him to assert his dominance and that is his beautiful great big mane. He's got that lovely fur all over his head, his neck and down his chest. Now that makes him look bigger than he actually is, it makes him look scary and intimidating. So younger males, inexperienced males, thinking of challenging him, they're going to take a look and they'll think, oh, well, maybe not, he's quite big, I'll maybe try to get next to him, I'm a little bit stronger. So it just serves again to ward off those rival males. Now, as well as making him look scary, that mane of his also makes Shakar very attractive towards the ladies. Now, another one of his jobs is obviously to mate with all of his females. Now, they're going to think Shakar is very attractive because they look at him and they think, wow, he's got that great big mane, he's very big, he's very strong. I want my cubs to be exactly like him when they grow up. Because that is going to give them the best chance of survival. So they're going to mate with Shakar and have cubs with him. Now, that man also has a third purpose. It offers Shakar protection. If he 
themselves get into a fight with a prideful male, then like the hood is, they are going to strike him to where it's going to do the most damage, which is, of course, on his head and his neck and his chest area. So that thick fur just gives him some padding, a little bit of added protection against any other males, but hopefully being the largest and the strongest male around, Shakar will come out on top and be able to fend off any challengers. Right, well, I think all those chickens are down off those poles now. Please do stick around to watch these guys finishing off their lunch. If you haven't joined our line feeding, get yourselves up to our tiger quarters at 3.15 this afternoon. We'll be feeding our jaguars in exactly the same way. That is not to be missed. Right, well, thank you very much for listening, guys. We do have lots more talks of feedings going on for you guys throughout the day. If you're not sure what's happening when, or you would just like to ask us any questions about any of the animals here at the park, Please don't hesitate to ask any of us keepers. We are here to answer your questions and hopefully make your day more enjoyable. So please come and ask us anything you like. Other than that, I hope you have enjoyed our lives, having our lunch, and please do enjoy the rest of your day here at the park. Thank you.